All right, I'm Thomas Lopez here at Apostles at Rock, and joining me live on video this evening uh, here uh, is uh, Terrence Howell, and his brother is Craig Howell. How you doing? All right, all right. Welcome, guys, uh, uh, to this uh, first ever video interview, um, which will also be recorded uh, onto audio as well. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Obviously, you've got the holidays coming up, and you know, yeah. just, this is yeah. just going to be a really fun interview. So, um, just going to kind of get into, kind of get into your hearts a little bit here uh, about what you guys are expecting for the for the holidays coming up. Uh, see if there's any new music under your sleeve, Terrence, uh, uh, with uh, revival worship movement. <laughs> yes, we. <laughs> There's some new things coming, um, some really, really cool things. Um, you have to excuse me. Right now, I'm in my beautiful niece's <laughs> bedroom just trying to get away where it's nice and quiet. We have the kids playing in the, uh, in the other rooms. Um, but, yes, we do. As a matter of fact, tomorrow I'll leave out for Nashville. We have some um, really, really cool connections and some um, really cool mm -hmm. things in the work um, that um, you'll be really happy once everything uh, – Drop. So we're excited about it. And my brother um, here in um, the Memphis and um, and Southwest uh, Mississippi area um, is doing some really cool things with this church. He's the associate pastor of, um, of a big church doing great things uh, called South Point. And he's also a musician, plays the uh, drums and bass guitar and acoustic guitar at the church as well. He can tell you some things that are going on in this area. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hey, how's it going? Uh, going well, going well. Yeah, yeah oh, out here uh, in this area, the Memphis area, man, I mean, you know, this is a music area. So we, we just have a lot of things that are just really going on, and especially with my church, South Point Church. Uh, we have a lot of, a lot of cool um, – uh, community activities, things that are going on, and we're just growing and expanding, and we're just a church that loves to give back and to make a difference uh, in the community, and that's that's how we we are here. We're right outside Memphis. We're in the north uh, side of uh, Mississippi, South Haven, Mississippi, right mm -hmm. outside the Memphis line, so I don't know if you're familiar with that area, but. Uh, yeah, I've actually been to uh, Memphis uh a few times uh, with a friend of mine uh, who actually lives right uh, in Nashville. His parents are right outside of Memphis uh, on the Mississippi side. And so, yeah, it's a very beautiful uh, city uh, for sure. It has a few uh, off spots, but uh, uh, very beautiful uh, nonetheless. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so glad my brother came. He got a chance to come and hang out with me, hang out with me at the church, and just to see what the things that Revival Music is doing is just amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, he and I grew up in a musical family, so, I mean, just to see where God is taking him, man, it's just it's, it's awesome. And, Tommy, I have a confession to make. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I learned from this guy right here, uh, my brother, um, he literally started playing drums at the age of three years old, um, banging on pots and pans. Um, and then he became a, an incredible drummer. Then he transitioned Tommy from the drums and decided he wanted to play the keyboard, a fantastic keyboard player. Then he transitioned and said, I want to learn how to play bass. And he's like one of the best <laughs> bass guitarists I've ever heard in my life. So this is my big brother. Grew up listening to just um, just how accomplished of a musician he was, and he poured into me a lot as a little kid growing up, encouraging encouraging me. And um, and if it wasn't for his support, I don't know where <laughs> I would be right now in music. Wow, that's that is absolutely awesome uh got you got a great brother there that's for sure yeah definitely <laughs> i call him my my big little brother <laughs> yeah yeah he stands uh about three feet taller than i do uh, which i don't know where he got his height from because both our parents are very short they're but, short <laughs> yeah I, i'm not sure what happened <laughs> now obviously you both live in different parts of the country here yeah. uh uh starting with you terrence uh 
what do you what do you got planned uh for uh thanksgiving and uh christmas coming up uh anything anything special uh for your family at all well normally my family my wife um robin who's at home she normally hosts um thanksgiving for the family mm -hmm. uh, my family who lives um in the virginia beach area they will come over um to our house and we host and and we all eat together um break bread together um and then we try to do um, some things for the community as well and and try to uh, reach out to those who are in need as well and um craig what do you have going on for thanksgiving uh for thanksgiving this year um i usually go with my uh in-laws for thanksgiving and this year we're going to be in florida uh, in orlando um we're taking the kids universal and uh we're going to uh -huh. be there just hanging out for thanksgiving uh, it's going to be a lot of fun awesome awesome yeah. universal is great I, I mean i would choose disneyland personally but but universal <laughs> universal uh it's probably cheaper too i'm guessing yeah, exactly that's what we looked at it was like okay how can we save money and have fun at the same time so yep. yeah yeah and normally the around the holidays is the time that um we take a break musically so that everyone can enjoy their families enjoy the holidays focus on the holidays and then um and we revamp for 2018 yep absolutely yeah uh i don't know what i'm doing for christmas but definitely thanksgiving it's going to be spent at home and uh, uh cooking up a turkey i'm thinking about borrowing a friend of mine's uh, he, he has a deep fryer oh wow I, I i've always wanted to have deep fried turkey you know just all that grease and everything it's just gonna be so good that, it sounds like you're having a cholesterol <laughs> full. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know your doctor will be happy to see you for business. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Um, so, so um, uh, what, uh, what, like, what's actually? Let's let's backtrack here because um, my listeners know about. Uh, revival worship movement mm -hmm. but for those who don't know about revival music company uh tell us about what that is revival music company um consists of not just myself but a whole bunch of people um that you've never heard of before and that that you will never see um who like to remain in the background it's the record label it is the the wheels and 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 the engine behind everything that we do, um, as as far as revival worship movement is concerned, that is the record label um, that we're on. Um, I actually own the record label, but there are many many other hands involved <laughs> into moving this. And what we try to do is make sure that we push out the best quality music, the best quality of content, um, and and not only are we the record label um but we're also a promotional um company uh we do radio promotions we do uh video promotions um as well so um there's a lot of cool things going on with revival music company that's why it was entitled revival music company to encompass all of the other as aspects of the music industry and not just a label only you know right right um so uh, that that's actually really good. Uh, I I like that you know um, the, the the way that that you work the the ministry there. Um, it's just really inspiring others to uh, to create music, to yeah. put it out there, and see what people think. You know, then that's that's what we're all looking for. You know, different different ideas in music. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, we appreciate um, people like you and um, your stations and uh, many other stations around the country and around the world um, that have you know fallen in love with our songs and um, and love our music and love what we are about um, yep. I feel like um, that we are mainly a movement um, as what our title is revival worship movement but we're a movement of love unity and peace you know and it was possible Paul who said you know if you could work all of these gifts so you can do all of these wonderful things but you don't have love you know is what good is it so um we're letting untainted love ride let it sit on the conscience <laughs> and of the um hearts of um all the people that it can reach 
and um, we want to make a difference. And we feel like that this society is voided of love and um, more love is what we need. So that is the thing that we're pushing and we're pushing strong and hard. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask your name again. Uh, what is it? Uh, Craig. 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 Okay. Um, real quick. Um, uh, Cause we're about to wrap this up here uh, okay. real quick. Uh, favorite verse from scripture that you really love. Uh, favorite verse will be Proverbs three, which is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll keep your path straight. All right. <laughs> That's my favorite verse. That's right. awesome. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's that's got to be one of my top uh, in my top ten uh, verses. Um, Terrence, what about you? I think I just uh, quoted it. What Paul said <laughs> about love. You know, um, that's what we are about. That's what our heart is about. That's what the movement is about. That's what the unity movement is about. We're trying to tear down walls, man. Yeah. And yep. we're, trying to, we're trying to build bridges. Uh, while certain communities, while they try to build walls, we're trying to tear them down. We're trying to build bridges and we're trying to bring people together. That's what we're about. Awesome. Um, most embarrassing moment, maybe? <laughs> My most embarrassing. Wow, where do I start, Tommy? <laughs> Tommy, this is a whole nother segment man i mean dude you you just open yourself up for a whole bunch of bloopers are right, my most embarrassing moment man i have so many <laughs> oh man um my most embarrassing take your uh, time can i go my top 10 no i'm just joking <laughs> hey feel free, feel free. <laughs> my most embarrassing moment wow um <clears throat> okay, yeah. All right, this is the first one that came to mind, so I have to go with it. All right, <laughs> years ago, I was around 11 to 12 years old, and I was an up-and-coming drummer. I'm, like my brother said, we come from a family of musicians, so mm -hmm. my aunt was a minister of music, and we had <laughs> we have mus musicians and music is all in our family. So my aunt was um, uh, playing the piano one day and, and directing the church choir, and I was a little kid. Um, just trying to learn how to play the drums. And I remember I thought I was playing the drums and doing a good job. And she looked at me in the middle of the service while I was playing and looked at me and told me to put the sticks down mm -hmm. and to go sit down because I was doing such a bad job on the drums. So that was pretty embarrassing, especially when the guy came up to replace me. Like, he couldn't keep a beat at all. So it was <laughs> It was it was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I, hey, I feel you. I I'm I'm a drummer myself. I've had those moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's one of those things. I was like, you're not going to keep me down. I'm coming. I'm coming. So, <laughs> well, believe me, my most embarrassing moment has not happened yet on the drums. Uh, oh, really? I, well, I haven't played in about at least a good three or four years. Oh, you're so. cheating, then. That's that's <laughs> cheating. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would I would have to say yes, I, that is cheating. Yes, <laughs> but it'll it'll come. It'll be embarrassing for for a time. I guarantee it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and uh, your brother there, Craig. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I'm gonna remember. Trust me. Yeah, one, of these, one, of, one of these moments. <laughs> uh, one of the uh, most embarrassing moment. Yes. Uh, oh wow. Well, I have had so many. Um, most embarrassing <laughs> moment, man. Uh, the bicycle. Oh the yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, there was this really cute girl that lived down the street, and uh, you know how you're a kid, you're riding your bike and you see her. And I was probably about eleven, eleven or twelve, and I thought she was so cute. I had to ride back around the, the block to see her again, and so mm -hmm. I. I could ride, you know how kids ride with no hands? So I'm trying to show off and I'm looking at this girl and I go riding without no hands. And this, this Volkswagen Beetle is sitting right there. I didn't even see it. It's parked. It's parked. I hit the Volkswagen Beetle. I flip over the car and laying on top 
<laughs> of the hood and slide. It's like a cartoon. It slide down <laughs> the side. And as a, kid, as a kid, as I get up, the girl and all her friends are on the ground laughing. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> that is my most embarrassing. Yeah, I, I had quite a few stuff. <laughs> and he didn't mention that they were they were painting the um, Volkswagen Beetle, so yeah, like paint on the side, on of, side of his face. face. <laughs> was, what, my, what what color was the paint? Do you remember? It was yellow. Oh, it was, oh that's yeah. horrible. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah, parents has never let me live that down <laughs> since we were kids. <laughs> this story has mine beat right now. <laughs> You, you know, red would have actually been a more convincing color. <laughs> walk, walk into yes. the house, mom be like, what happened to you? I got the uh, <laughs> <life>. A Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. That's too funny. So that's uh, great. Man. Yes. Oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man, we can keep this going, Tommy. <laughs> we actually could. That's yeah. awesome. Well, hey, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording now. I'm gonna okay. go. I'm gonna put that into post production. Right. Um, okay. We can continue talking here for just a second, but that's that's gonna be uh, <laughs> done right there. Well, that's going to do it for this interview. Hey, thanks, Terrence, and thanks. Uh, as well, uh, Craig, your brother, uh, as well. Uh, if you guys love what you hear on our podcast each week and you loved this video as well, consider supporting the work of this ministry at Apostles at Rock Radio.com right on the donate tab there. Go ahead and click that, and that'll connect you uh, to our secure online payment center. Uh, also, if you love uh, Terrence Howell and the music that's coming from Revival Worship Movement. Check them out at RevivalWorshipMusic.com. Check out Revival, uh, uh, the Revival Music Company, Revival uh, Worship Movement. They've got some great music out, and they, they are always willing to come to your town and uh, uh, do a show. So go ahead, check them out. Uh, check out their bio pages as well. It's all right there at revivalworshipmusic.com. This has been an Apostles That Rock exclusive interview.